Hello, my friend. This is Victor Piccini, and welcome to the Be Seen and Heard journey. Videos and audios that will empower you. Hey, it's Victor. Welcome to the Be Seen and Heard journey. Thank you so much for being with me today. Whether you're watching this video or listening to the podcast, thank you so much. So the question I bring up today is why abuse happens, and then if I were to continue it, why do people stay in abusive relationships? Well, the first part I can connect like this. When I'm at schools and kids ask me all the time, hey, Victor, why do adults abuse kids? Or why do children get abused? And from talking to social workers and psychologists, I can tell you two reasons why it happens. Number one, the abuser was abused themselves when they were younger. And most likely it was repeated over and over again, and they never got the help that they needed to overcome that. And so what do they do? They grow up and they repeat the behavior. The second reason why abuse happens, specifically with adults abusing kids, is that adults can easily manipulate and control children. And think about it. I mean, kids can get easily tricked into trust, very simply in my situation, even though the person who abused me was only eight or nine years older, he was still closer to being an adult than I was at the age of eight. So it's called tricked in the trust or it's called being manipulated. This week's blog talks about the power and control wheel. And I can really connect to this. See, I, I believe a lot of women, and again, I have to say this, men can be victims in an abusive relationship. Um, they don't report as much as women do. But for my connection today, I do want to talk specifically about women. The, the way I can really connect to this is that my sister was involved in an abusive relationship when she was married. And one thing that we noticed about her is that she used to say, I'm going to leave him, I'm going to leave him. And then she would not leave him. She even had a restraining order against him that she took away. And we realized that it was fear. She was afraid to leave. She was afraid she didn't know what was going to happen. She didn't know if he was going to take the kids. That was another fear. She was, he was going to take the kids and she would never see them again. And so it was all of this fear and all of this guilt that kept her in the relationship. Well, I can say this is that I remember seeing my sister going, going through a transformation. She got to a place where I think she was very much getting more into control of her life, that she was going to file for divorce. She had gotten herself into shape. She was exercising and she was eating healthy and she got a great job at a school district and things were going really well until I believe her husband lost control. He lost the control over her. And again, I don't know the exact reason why, but he ended up taking her life on September 3rd, 2001. And looking back over that just horrible time in my life, in my family's life, we, we always talk about like, what could we have done differently? And, you know, we were there for her. We helped her, but she kept going back. And it's one of those things where we want to continue to empower the people that are in abusive relationships to keep reminding them that they are not that relationship. They are more than the relationship. They are more than what this person is doing to them and they need to be in control and they need to get out of that relationship. And I know in my situation, it's a lot easier said than done, but if only my sister knew that where she could have gotten away sooner or just said, you know, I'm done and surrounded herself with a lot more people and just left the house. See, we were all there for her, but she kept going back by herself. And again, I don't put any guilt on my family. I don't think it's anyone's fault. He took her life. That was his choice. He ended up taking his life too. So what's what's the positive message today it's that we need to help adults understand that they need and deserve to be seen and heard as well and they are more than what's hurting them and they need to surround themselves with people that can help them in a situation because again abusers will want to isolate them from their friends and family so that they the abuser doesn't lose control well it's about gaining the control, and if we have to be there to keep helping our loved ones be in control, and that includes children, and it includes adults. I wanna thank you so much for taking the time this week to listen. Please spread the word, share this video, share this 
blog post with your friends and family. And again, let's help children and adults be seen and heard. Thank you. Hey, my friend, I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Be Seen and Heard journey. If you'd like to follow me, please go to youtube.com forward slash Victor Piccini or instagram.com forward slash childhood victories or head over to facebook.com forward slash childhood victories or visit my website, victorpiccini.com. Please share this with your friends and family. And until next time, be seen and heard.